An interview with Neville Teal. Interviewer, Irv Joel. Recorded May 13, 2002, at the 112th AES Convention, Munich. I developed what turned out to be some of the earliest active filters for these, uh, you know, with three position. Uh, a uh, high-pass filter for the rumble and a three-position low-pass filter for the scratch. And I had published my first paper in 1956 on, on not very good active filters, actually, that turned out the Salon and Key filters are much more compact and much nicer than mine. But, but I, the point was I prepared my mind for, for working on that. Now, the other thing about the uh, television work was I had to design uh, intermediate frequency amplifiers which were bandpass filters but they're asymmetrical you know you've got a vestigial sideband in television so I'd had to learn quite a bit about filters so there I am about 1959 and uh, the chief came and said we've got another prestige radio gramophone uh, now, you're our expert on advanced technology, and you, you, you're interested in loudspeakers. I said, oh, yes, oh, yes, I knew all about loudspeakers, ha, ha. And uh, he said, well, uh, you can do the loudspeaker for it. When, when I try to explain to students about the, the absolute beauty of, of some of these things, how, you know, how exciting it can be, I'd been doing a lot of this work and just, just having a quiet look at things, I suddenly found that by getting a combination of the parameters, I could find the electroacoustic conversion efficiency of the speaker. And then I suddenly thought, wait a minute, that's got to be wrong. It must be wrong. Because I've made no acoustic measurements. They're all electrical measurements. You need uh, a voltmeter, an ammeter, an oscillator of known frequency. And, uh, and I thought, wait a minute, there is one acoustic thing, and that was a box of known volume. That's the only acoustic requirement in it. And that's another case of aware uh, inventions or uh, innovations. Uh, uh, talk about necessity being the mother in, of invention. We had so little acoustic test equipment at EMI in Australia. And that, that's how that came about.